fundamental part in modern celebratory activities. They allow gatherers to congregate in all of its glory, but subsequent demise at the opportunity to indulge. The person who is the main focus of the event gets all the attention of the onlookers. Let's be real. The cake is the real star of the party. It allows you to eat, sing, dance, making the environment a lot more fun and enjoyable. We're excited to explore all the intricacies of cake making and cake design on this episode of the Caribbean Network. Yeah. Welcome to the Caribbean Network, where we highlight Caribbean-owned businesses here in the Metro Atlanta area. We've partnered with Carib Lingo Clothing to bring you today's episode. Today we have amazing Caribbean talent, Miss Kiara Fulcher, creator and force behind Trinity and Company. Kiara, welcome to the network. Hello. Hi. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I, I'm great actually, you know what I mean? I'm excited for what we have coming up today. <laughs> so Kiara, baking and artistically decorating cakes is definitely a niche market. So what led you down this particular career path? Well, I've been baking since I was about 10. I started off making cheesecakes. I had an aunt who bakes in New York and she taught me that recipe. And I would like sell to everyone I knew, my teachers, my classmates, my family, Anyone who would buy a cheesecake, I would sell a cheesecake. And then I would go down the path of culinary. Um, when I was in high school, I was on a program for culinary arts, and I found my passion for food. I never thought I'd really get into the baking this heavy until, I'd say, 2015 or so, I was asked to just make a cake for a party, and ever since then, the cakes have just taken Oh, wow. Yeah. So it chose you. It chose me. <laughs> I did not choose. So that was actually awesome what you just said about your journey and everything, how it, how it chose you. So I want to ask you this question. So with creative endeavor, ingenuity, and adaptability are known as sustaining factors within a business or creating a business and sustaining a business in a very powerful industry like yours, right? What changes have you seen in your industry and the changes, how does the changes affect you now and how would it affect you in the future? Well, nowadays, I would say the industry I'm in is pretty saturated, but I wouldn't say that we're struggling at all. Um, with celebrity clients and even with COVID affecting everyone, there's more events for... So smaller events, more private events. Yeah. So so you, so I guess with more a lot more intimate events and mm -hmm. stuff like backyard events, so just families and stuff. Okay, mm -hmm. cool, cool, cool. So your upbringing and heritage shape your values, which form the foundation for many aspects of your life. So how has your Caribbean upbringing influenced your decision making with regards to culinary arts? Well, being from a Caribbean household, my mother's from Trinidad and my dad's from Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I like everything centered around food. Okay. Any family events, you're happy, you're sad, you're celebrating, there's food. So there's always been that aspect in my life. And that's always been my favorite part of being Caribbean, like we have the best food. Yes. So Fox, yes. Fox, <laughs> Fox, Fox. <laughs> so I would say that being that food is so important to our culture and to like my family, it was just natural for me to gravitate towards it. Right. Awesome. I like how you said that how you how you mesh the Caribbean culture and food, because we all know that is super important. Oh yeah. So many professionals, they specialize in making, designing and decorating cakes for all different types of events, right? Could you tell me, our audience, everybody out there, what's the fundamental difference between a baker and a cake designer? 
Well, I would say that although they're two different roles, they go hand in hand. Okay. A baker, they set the foundation for the cake. If mm -hmm. the cake doesn't taste good, mm -hmm. you're not going to want to eat it. Pretty cakes need to taste good as well. Right. So the baker sets the foundation with baking the layers of the cake or just baking any normal baked goods, a cheesecake, a cookie. But the cake designer, mm -hmm. which is what I, like I do both, mm -hmm. but with designing, you have to come with it. Right. Uh, yeah. As a designer, I feel like I'm also like an engineer. People don't think about when they ask for these big lavish cakes, you have to think about structure. Everything that goes mm -hmm. in, yeah. Not even just designing, like structure, making sure this cake isn't gonna fall over, right, 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 right. It, all of that plays a big role in when you're designing cakes. Yeah, it showed us, cause I've seen some of the cakes you did and I was like, yo, how would she do that? <laughs> What's and your then, favorite thing to make? I would say cheesecake, it was my first love. Okay. So, I mean, <laughs> It's so universal, you can switch it up and make so many variations of flavors. Oh, cool, cool. That sounds that's pr pretty good. But there's one cake I did see on your social media that was pretty crazy was the DJ controllers. Oh. Yeah, that stood out to me. Uh, yeah. How long did it take you? Yeah. <laughs> so I typically break my cakes up into two days so that I don't over, like stress myself yeah. out. Mm -hmm. So the first day is baking and then the second day is just decorating. So okay. it took about two days. Um, that's actually a recreated cake of a cake that I made for my father. He used oh, to be wow. a DJ and his, oh, wow. the turntables would light up and spin. So. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Your cake turntables <laughs> light up and spin. Yes. You're telling me. <laughs> nice, Eddie. Cool. Okay, so I know you, you're going to make something for us today. Oh, yes. I'm, I'm pretty excited. Yeah, I want to see yeah. what this cake looks like. <laughs> yes, boy. <laughs> Ready for it. So, Kiara, are you going to show us and decorate this beautiful cake first? Let's see your skills at work. All right. So we're starting off with a three layer red velvet and vanilla swirled cake. Mm -hmm. I've already went ahead and crumb coated it, which is where you just put a light coat of icing that catches all the crumbs so that final coat doesn't have any crumbs in it. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, so I'm theming this cake for you guys. The Caribbean Network, yes. <laughs> I have these edible images that I printed out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Flags. I didn't even know this is how you do it. Isn't this freaky? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, I like, didn't know what? all, all I this know. Um, edible flags. I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm luckily out here, Trini represents. Yeah, yeah. Big up to all, <laughs> big up to all the West Indian <laughs> islands. But I did not know the Trini red, red, white, and black. Come you know? On, it's yes, the best. man. Come on. <laughs> okay. So the type of cake that I'm gonna do is um, a trend that's been happening in the past year called a fault line cake. Okay. Okay. So basically, it looks like. These are gonna be carved out of like the icing is going to carve around it. It's gonna be like it's carved. Okay. Alright. And you call that a fault line cake. A fault line cake. All right. I learn something new every day. What are you telling me? So <laughs> the first step was getting the flags to go around. Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna to begin to ice the cake. I remember growing up back in the days when my mom used to make cakes and stuff. I couldn't wait for the icing. I, I said eat the icing. Oh, it yeah. was the best part. So this is a Swiss meringue buttercream. Okay. I like it because it's not as sweet as like an American buttercream. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. No, this is really actually interesting, like seeing the actual hand work that goes behind making this type of cake. Mm -hmm. It's very super interesting. A lot of people probably would never think about seeing all this, but yeah. Because mm -hmm. we just get the cake. We yeah. just get finished product, yeah. you know? Product. Yeah, there's a lot that goes into I know. even just the basic ice in the cake. And then you'll be making these super duper 3D cakes and stuff. So. And the whole thing is you want it to look kind of rustic. Mm -hmm. You'll see as the cake forms what I mean by that. This is like science right now. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's like experiment. <laughs> Sorcery. <laughs> it's science, it's like architecture. It's Magic. Like, yeah. <laughs> and it smells so nice. What, so type, what, type, what type of frosting is that again? A Swiss meringue buttercream. So instead of an American buttercream mm -hmm. is like just butter, sugar, and vanilla. Right. 
for a Swiss meringue, it's based off of meringue, so it's egg white based. Okay. And it uses half the amount of sugar okay. than an American buttercream. Okay. So, just want to make sure we have all the little holes. Cover it up, nice, yeah, nice. we do a smoothing. My, like I, I said, you kind of want it to look a little rough. I excited because we gave me own cake. I know. Yeah. So how often do you get like to make these type of like specialty type cakes? Like, like for instance, the the, the controller cake. Remember mm -hmm. the DJ controller cake? Mm -hmm. I remember you did a a, a, a cake for Dreggy. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. How how often do you usually? Every week. Really? Yeah, every week there's a new cake, and I try to um, encourage my customers to come up with their own themes and designs because a lot of times they'll be like, oh, I saw this cake, can you recreate right. this cake from your page? And I'm like, well, let's build off of that. Let's right, yeah. A little different. Make it more original or specialized yeah. to them. Okay, nice, nice, so nice. So now we're gonna smooth this. So I see what I was kind of talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm gonna be looking like they're carved. And I chose this cake specifically for you guys because I'm a perfectionist. And if it was any other way, I would be smoothing this icing <laughs> for like an hour. Just to get it perfectly smooth. Right. I mean, just standing here and watching you work, I see the passion in I your know. work. I yeah. know. I love it. All right. So now we're going to start smudging on these different colors. Colors that are synonymous with Caribbean life. Red, gold, and green. <laughs> All right. This is also an edible image. Okay. So there's a specialized printer that uses dehydrated icing. Okay. And instead of an ink cartridge, you have food coloring in the cartridges. Our so very own cake! So it's to this is totally edible? Totally edible. Every single piece of cake is edible. I try to make most of my cakes entirely edible if possible. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. The only thing that typically isn't edible is like if you see crystal gems around the bottom, like if no way you can make it. Right, 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 right. Yeah, right, yeah, right. yeah. All right, so we strike and use all that extra icing mm -hmm. so we can decorate the top. Okay. okay. We're just gonna... Skills. Yeah. Skills. <laughs> and then as a treat for you guys, because this is the Caribbean net worth. And when you think of net worth, you think of something a little bougie, a little yeah. bougie. Yes, I have 23 karat gold that's edible. And we'll just adorn the top of the cake. Okay. So, you know, we can be a little extra. Are we worthy? Are we worthy? <laughs> 23 karat gold, huh? 23 karat gold. All right, make it happen. <laughs> like it like money. Right? <laughs> right. Think pretty. <laughs> so adding something like this onto someone's cake. This is like an upcharge. This is oh, like yeah. extra. I bet it okay. is. Real gold? I know. Cards? Yeah. So it's very expensive. I'm... We use it sparingly. I mean, unless you just want your entire cake to be covered. Okay. There we go. What do you guys think? Beautiful. I think it's beautiful. Awesome. <laughs> awesome job. Like actually standing here and seeing you put this together, having conversation. Yeah, this is a uh, awesome. Yeah, it went from you. nothing think to something. something basically. Yes. <laughs> So, you are just gonna cut into the cake. There we have it, folks. Do you see our cake? I'm so excited for this cake. It's our goal. <laughs> it's our goal. <laughs> so there you have it, folks. Trinity and Company, a culinary collective that focuses on the three pillars of culinary arts, food, desserts and pastries, and drinks. So, it's time for the best part. Do you guys want to cut it? Yes. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Me, I want to. I want to if she want to cut it, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> let, 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 yeah. let me go to you, come to you. Okay, all right. Boom, 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 bang, bang, bang. Proper placement. That is it there? All right, you go to now. You fix it up there now. We don't go to Me? Through. All me? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. That is it there? That's it right there. Bam. 
Do you want to use it? Yeah. Maybe take it? Okay, let's go. So, Kiara, thank you so much for having us. It was such a wondrous treat. Thank you. <laughs> so, here at the Caribbean Networks, we never like to walk with our hands swinging. So, on behalf of our official sponsor, Carib Lingo, we have a little gift for you. Nice. I'm rooting for everyone West Indian. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we like that. We like that. <laughs> and because you guys were so generous in gifting me this, I'd like to gift your viewers 15% off all orders. Okay. Oh, all right. That sounds super dope. Super so dope. you guys heard it here first. 15% off of any of Kiara's products with the code The Caribbean Network. So Kiara, with everything we've done here today, let our viewers know all your official handles so they could get con in contact with you and get these beautiful cakes and stuff. Well, if you'd like to order cakes, pastries, uh, bartending services, private chef services, and meal prep. She does it all. Yeah. <laughs> you can contact us. Um, Instagram is the Trinity and Co. And for all the behind the scenes and my day to day, you can follow me at Official Chef Key. Our website is thetrinityandco.com. And don't forget to follow us on all social media at the Caribbean Network. Don't forget to check out the website at www.thecaribbeannetwork.com. So I'm Makila. I'm Benzo. And we, we are, are your hosts host for the Caribbean, Caribbean Network. Network. And now it's time for the Caribbeanlingo word of the day. And now it's time for the Caribbeanlingo word of the day. What we at today, Keila? The Carib lingo word of the day mm -hmm. is cutlass. Cutlass. So, all well, here that's right, cutlass. So a cutlass is a large flat blade knife used for agricultural purposes, utilitarian purposes, and sometimes in the Caribbean violent purposes. Yeah, everybody knows what a cutlass is. You know what a cutlass is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what people use that for? Bam, bam, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Level chop. <laughs> Level chop. <laughs> So we use cutlass in Trinidad, Jamaica, Guyana, Dominica, everywhere. All the Caribbean countries. We know what cutlass is. But if you never heard what a cutlass is, right? You ever heard of Chappy, Collins, Lass, Machete? Machete! In Trinidad, we call it Tree Line. <laughs> <laughs> and that's our word for today. This is the cutlass. Caribbean Network. <laughs>
fresh breeze. Caribbean breeze. We are doing a drive to keep the Caribbean net worth healthy and sustainable. If you are happy with our content and wish to help us keep the Caribbean net worth's voice going strong, please support us by contributing to thecaribbeannetworth.com slash donate. Your contribution will help fund our production and allow us to produce high quality, independent media that uplifts our Caribbean culture. Anyone who donates $100 or more will receive a Carib Lingo t-shirt. So please, help keep us sustainable by visiting thecaribbeannetworth.com slash donate. With your donation, we will build strong, Caribbean-centric media together.